you actually didn't start with him. You actually uh, started with Eric. Right. Right? Yeah. Was he Kenyan? No. What, where was he? Ghanaian. He was, he was from Ghana? Mm hmm Okay. And so you were at first involved with him, right? Right. And then when that fell apart, he, he said you were texting him. He found out about that. And so you stopped that? That fell apart some kind of way? Right. Eric got busy, so okay. kind of fizzled out. He, he dropped you? Not dropped, but we're just friends now. He dropped you? I guess you could say. Okay. Who's Simon? Oh, Simon's my, my friend, my first friend from Ghana. He's from Ghana. Yeah. And was there one point at which you were talking to three different African men? I had, yeah, after Eric, I met more. You met more? Yeah. And you said, you were asked why you were talking to three, and you said, well, that way if one's busy, I can talk to one of the other ones. You talk to different friends at different times, so it's no different. Anything you want to say before I launch off here? Well, I don't think it's uh, appropriate for television, but I'll give it a try. You know I've given you every ounce of my love. You want to destroy this family? That's up to you. I have no control over you, but it ain't, I ain't going down without a fight. And Sarah right behind him. I can't in good conscience allow you to get on a plane to Kenya knowing what I know from the terrorism to the disease that is out there. I see Kevin, he's a real person, I get that. I get that. But for you to go with your children, even in the slightest amount of danger in yourself, there is no way. You will have to tear, they will tear me off your body. I will be at the airport. It breaks my heart for you because I feel that you're so naive. Like you don't realize the dangers in front of you. And now I'm like, where are you? You could care less what I'm saying. I think you have literally lost your mind. In my opinion, this isn't about Kevin. If what you're doing is picking the most radically different seemingly exotic alternative from what you have felt like has been a repressive, restrictive, confining, mundane, day after day sameness from a marriage that has lost its luster. So you're looking for something different, something exotic, something exciting. Just take me to another life before you make an earnest effort to try to fix what you have and where you are, then you're cheating you, you're cheating him, and you're cheating your four children. If you want to have a chance at a different life, then you will stop that contact and give this 90 days of an earnest, no kidding, honest attempt to heal this marriage. And if he loves you, then he will honor that space and give you the opportunity to heal your life and heal your family. Give me 90 days. You, you, you don't even plan on going until February. All right. Now, do you have the emotional integrity to stick with that? Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not with her answer. I will try. Uh, I'm not asking you to try. I'm asking you to do it. Well, I get to say goodbye at least? Yes. All right. Today. Because tomorrow starts 90 days. <sighs> I'm just asking you to give me that time. Please. 
going to miss Kevin? If it's real, he'll be there. If it's not, it wasn't what you thought it was anyway. Fine.